the marathon, the half marathon, I should say. Lauren's going to be running in it. We're very excited cheering her on. Yes, I'm excited to see everyone out there. My first race in Vermont, and it looks like we should have comfortable running temperatures at least. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, uh, what time does the race go off, Lauren? Eight. Eight, eight o'clock. Okay, so it's going to be a little chilly out, but yeah, I think if you're a runner and you're, you're in the race, you're going to be in great shape. Nothing like a nice brisk chill in the air for a race day, but for the spectators, it's going to be chilly in the morning, and our weekend is trending a little bit below average, but... It is October after all, and we have similar chilly weather sometimes in the spring when the marathon is then too. So I think everyone will handle it great, especially if you're prepared, which is what I'm here to do for you. Starting off mild this morning, but wet. Some of those showers still lingering to the north. Obviously, they've broken up a ton. It's just kind of scattered rain left over northern New York, and some of those heavier showers moving back into Franklin County as they make their way east and a little bit north this morning. So Swanton, St. Albans, Alberg, Highgate, you guys a little bit wet still with some of those heavier showers that have returned there, but at least it's warm out mid and upper 50s now in the Champlain Valley 53 in Newport 53 in Lebanon 56 and Rutland and 59 still in Bennington mid 50s through about midday or so and then after that temperatures will slowly drop the rain this morning brought to us by a cold front that is going to have those temperatures slowly on their way down and of course it's going to bring us those cooler temperatures over the weekend that northwest wind behind that front around 10 miles per hour today but at least we're drier and might even get a little afternoon sun peeking through some of those clouds we'll call it a mostly cloudy sky and kind of a cooler morning than we've been used to for Saturday, but we'll get a little sun returning by the afternoon. Maybe some peaks of that for the second part of your Saturday with highs in the low 50s. Now come Sunday, a stray little sprinkle of rain is possible in the morning and afternoon, maybe a mountain flurry, but I think other than that, dry is the theme. So again, great news for the race, but it is going to be chilly in the morning and we'll have a partly to mostly cloudy sky, but really not a whole lot going on for this weekend. Let's take a closer look again. Cool in the afternoon on Saturday, low 50s. Sunday isn't trending quite as chilly as we had originally thought. Again, in the morning, it's going to be cool. Some of our lows are in the 30s on Sunday, but back into the mid 50s in the afternoon. And with the dry weather, I think we're in great shape for the weekend. So enjoy. It'll be fall like again on Monday and Tuesday with highs in the low 50s. There's a system that could potentially skim us to our south on Monday and Tuesday. Right now, it does look like it will bring us some rain. There is some uncertainty with that. So definitely, if you have outside plans for the start of next week, stay tuned and we'll keep you guys updated. But it does look like more rain is possible by the end of next week too.